सो दिवाली मेकअप लुक टू इज ऑल अबाउट प्लम्स प्लम आइज प्लम लिप्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई एम अप्लाइंग कलर बार एल्यूमिनेटिंग लोशन फर्स्ट एंड इट्स लाइक अ मॉइस्चराइजर कम एल्यूमिनेटिंग लोशन इट एड्स अ स्लाइट ग्लो टू माई स्किन एंड आई रील लाइक यूजिंग इट एज अ बेस नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज कलर बार फुल कवर स्टिक एंड आई एम यूजिंग इट एज एन आई शेडो बेस सो दिस इज टू कैंसल आउट द डार्कनेस ऑन माई आई लेट्स एंड प्रोवाइड अ स्मूथ बेस फॉर माई आई मेकअप आई एम यूजिंग माई फिंगर्स टू अप्लाई एंड ब्लेंड इट नेक्स्ट आई एम सेटिंग दैट बेस विद पाउडर आई एम यूजिंग कलर बार आई शेडो पैलेट एंड दिस प्रडी रेड कलर इन माई क्रीज The color is quite pigmented and uh, you don't really need too much of it. So, applying a little by little and then blending it is the key. Take your time and blend it because uh, unblended eye shadows look really bad. Next time I'm applying a kajal, mesmerized kajal on my eyelids very close to lash line and just blending it uh, towards the crease. I don't want too much black going on but to get an opaque base for plum eye shadow i thought of applying uh, this black kajal so the key is to apply a black base for darker colors and a lighter base for lighter shades for them to pop so the plum color is really beautiful i am taking a bit of it and tapping it on my eyes and then blending it simultaneously I'm building it up and blending it uh, with the red eye shadow. Now I'm color correcting using this orange corrector and applying it around my mouth. To get a nice flawless base, you should color correct if you have darkness around your mouth or under eyes. Otherwise, it will peek through the foundation and it will make the foundation look ashy. I'm using my fingers to pat the product in. Now I'm using the same full cover stick as makeup base. I really like this product. It blends really well and the shade matches me really really well. I'm using a brush to blend it. You can use a sponge. It gives you medium coverage like nice buildable medium coverage and it feels really good on my skin i have dry skin and it feels kind of uh, nice and moisturizing on me make sure to blend it really really well with the hairline and a bit on the neck area as well now i'm applying a concealer under my eyes and at the same time i'm cleaning the eye shadow towards the eye outer corners so i'm blending it upwards towards the temples it gives a lifted look to the eyes so yeah i like that look now i'm setting everything with color bar loose powder not everything but just the under eye area so i'm pressing a little bit there and we'll leave it on for a couple of minutes and then wipe it away So this powder is really good. It's fine, it's soft and it has yellow tones, not too strong yellow tones, so it doesn't really give flashback. Now I'm bronzing up my face with a matte bronzer. This is like one of the most important steps of my makeup uh, routine because bronzing just brings color back to my face and uh, it kind of helps the foundation to blend very well with the hairline. Then I'm going back to the same eye shadow palette and taking a bit more of that plum eye shadow and applying it on my lower lash line and blending the kajal. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner and uh, uh, lining my eyes. I take my time for doing my liquid eyeliner. 
now i'm taking the same kajal and applying it on the tight line so that there are no gaps there is no skin peeking through the eyeliner because it looks really bad if you want intense cold eyes Now I'm moving back to my eyebrows. I like my eyebrows to look really bold and thick when I have done heavy eye makeup because uh, otherwise the whole uh, focus goes on to your eyebrows if they are not nicely filled. I really like to fill and then brush the eyebrows at the same time so that I'm not overdoing them. So I don't want them to look uh, theater like like stage like but then yeah nicely filled and shaped. You can see I'm filling them and then brushing them at the same time. Now I'm curling my lashes. Curling is like really important because I have short and straight lashes, so it curls the lash in and uh, makes the mascara application easier. I'm taking this 30 days growth mascara from Color Bar. It has like a slim wand and um, it kind of lengthens the eyelashes. I'm taking my time to apply mascara. Now I'm taking this shimmer brick from Color Bar and uh, using it uh, to bronze up my face a little bit more. This was really pigmented. I was not expecting it to be this pigmented. You can guess it from my facial expressions and then I'm blending it very well with the bronzer and I really liked how it's not shimmery but it has a beautiful sheen and it blends really really beautifully. I'm taking the Color Bar Feel the Rain uh, blush highlight duo and applying the blush from that. Since the shimmer brick already had highlighter, uh, I'm not applying a separate highlighter on the top of it. So, yeah, I'm setting the makeup with Stay the Day Mist. This is like a important step for me. Next, I'm using the Kiss Proof lipstick from Color Bar. This is the newest launch from them, and I was so surprised. This lipstick goes on so creamy, and then it sets. It sets in couple of um, seconds, like 30-40 seconds, and it sets matte. and it doesn't transfer you will see in next clip it's absolutely matte and it is already set so this is the makeup look i have just applied a plum bindi and it has completed the makeup look and i really like it and uh, yeah so now for the giveaway so one of you will get uh, one mesmerized kajal one color bar blush one nail paint one matte lipstick And one aqua feel foundation. So these are the five products that one of you uh, is going to win. All you have to do is be a subscriber, like this video, and comment anything under this video. And for this giveaway, the winner will be announced on the Nivali look three. So yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, makeup look. It was a little different from the previous one. And I'll see you very very soon in my next video. Till then.